What's up guys, it's Peep Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you an insane trading method to help you guys make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you jump over to the channel here and hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you guys helped us reach that milestone. And then if you do enjoy live streams, please jump over to Twitch here hit that follow button, come hang out in the streams, it's always a good time. We do all sorts of trading methods, investing, pack openings, just kind of everything so you can see how we got all of this on our road to glory for free live over on Twitch. And then if you are just looking for the best way to make coins, the easiest thing, you're going to want to join the Footed It Up in Zinja Discord. Re my referral link's in the description. Go ahead, just click that, and they will help you make tons and tons of coins. Now, with all that said, let's jump right into this trading method. So, guys, we got something kind of basic for you today, but something that I think flies under the radar. So, we're going to be in consumables here, and basically something that I'm a really big fan of is position modifiers. So, I want to show you one of my best position modifier trading methods today. And we are going to be looking at the right wing to right mid position modifier. So if we look at the price of this, this typically hangs out right around the 600 coin mark here. Right now, it looks like it's going to be selling about 550. So yeah, 550 is looking to be the price. And these are all listed for 500, but they're going to sell very quickly here. So basically, selling for 550 coins, you're going to lose 23 coins on tax. So... Anything you pick up 500 or below is going to make you profit. As you can see, a lot of those already sold here. Anything 500 and below is profit. Now, I think this is something that flies under the radar a lot because it's very low budget, but it's something that you can make a lot of coins on, especially with bidding. As you can see here, there's some 500 coin bids here, but a lot of times you're going to be able to pick these cards up for 300 to 350 coins and basically make 200 coins a card. And as you can see, there's so many of these listed up here that if you're picking up like 10 of these and making 200 a card quickly like that, then you're just instantly going to make 2000 coins just like that. So you're going to go through, you're going to want to bid on as many of these cards as possible. Set the price you want to pick them up at. Some people will do 450 like this person. Some people will do 300. Obviously, the higher you go, the more of these you're going to pick up. And sometimes, like earlier, like you just saw, when someone's already bid on a bunch of these, you're going to want to like jump forward a couple minutes here and then just start bidding on all these. So I'm going to go ahead, bid 450 on everything because we're going to sell for 550. You could sell for six, 700 to lazy buyers and make coins like that as well. But we're going to bid 450 on all of these. And once you're comfortable with the amount of bids that you've put down, that's when you're going to come back here and you're going to do some sniping. So basically, I would just snipe at the same price you're bidding at. Basically, this is just since all those bids we placed have a couple minutes, like three, four minutes until they actually expire. Basically, this just gives you something to do while you're waiting around. So you're kind of doing multiple methods at the same time, both bidding and sniping here. As we see, boom, we pick up a card for 450, just like that. It's very, very easy, very, very efficient. And again, we could sell these for six, 700 coins to lazy buyers, but we're just going to list them up the cheapest price, take the instant coins and go from there. But yeah, the key method here is going to be bidding. Sniping is going to kind of be something on the side that you're also going to do while you're waiting for your bids. But both of these methods are very effective. You can make a lot of coins. And there's a bunch of different position modifiers you can do this with. Obviously, prices and whether you want to do bidding or sniping more depends on the position modifier, the time of week it is, everything like that. But I'm going to try to keep these coming for you guys so you can kind of see what the best methods are to do for these position modifiers. So let's go back over here and let's t let's check on our bids and kind of see where we're at. Taking a while to load here, but all of those sold for four or five. I mean, as you can see, they're selling for 400 as well. So you could put 400 coin bids down, go even lower than the 450 that we've been on all of these and still be making coins. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. Like I said, you can bid as low as you'd like, but I would recommend going through bidding the same on every single card, just mass bidding everything 
and then going back and sniping. Obviously, the higher price that you bid and snipe at, the more cards you're going to pick up, but the less profit per card that you're going to get. So it really depends what you want to do. But as you can see, this card already sold for 550 as well. So you are able to sell them for more coins than this, but this is just to get them to sell quickly. And I would, rec I would recommend selling them for more and trying to squeeze as many coins as possible out of these cards, try trying to make this the most efficient thing there is. And can we pick up one of these cards? No, we missed those for 450 and 400. But as you can see, very, very good. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.